In this session, we will discuss about the transpose of a matrix. So this is a matrix and how many rows does it have? Three rows. And how many columns? Four columns. So this is a three cross four matrix. Right? So when we transpose, it will become a four cross three matrix. That is R cross C will become C cross R. So how will the transpose be constructed? First, you are going to iterate over the first column. So 10, 14, 18. So 10, 14, 18. And then you are going to iterate over the second column, 11, 15, and 19. Then the third column, 12, 16, and 20. Then the last column, 13, 17, 30. So this is going to be the transpose of this particular matrix. So how to implement it? When you are iterating over the matrix, you will be having a nested loop. So here the row index will be there and in the inner loop, the call index will be there. So here because you have to iterate over the columns, right? That is the first column, second column, third column. So here because you have to iterate over the columns, the outer loop must have the call index. The inner loop must have the row index. Because here what are you doing? You are coming to the first column and then traversing all the elements in the rows. Then you are coming to the next column, you are traversing all the rows. So that is the reason the column must be in the outer loop and the row index must be in the inner loop. Now let's implement this in C programming language. So first accept the R value and C value. Then to accept the input values have a nested loop. So here row index will go from 0 till row minus 1. That is the reason we are saying less than R. And the inner loop will be for the columns. So column index will go from 0 to C minus 1. So that is the reason we are saying less than C. So now we are going to accept the input values for the matrix. Because it is an integer, the format specifier is percentage %d and we are going to say matrix. Here the row index must be coming up and the call index must be coming. We have not yet declared the matrix. So we will declare the matrix here. So how many rows are there? R. And how many columns are there? C columns. So now we have accepted the input values. Now we need to print the transpose. So to print the transpose, let's reuse this code. So what are the changes we are going to make? We are going to bring the call index to the outer loop. Then we will be converting the scanf to printf. And we will be giving a space, remove the address of operator because we are not accepting the input. And after each row, we have to print a new line. So we will give a new line over here. So let us now execute the program. We are going to give a 3 cross 4 matrix and the first column 10, 20, 44 is over here and the second column 12, 21, 45 is here, third column 13, 22, 46 is here and the fourth column 4, 15, 26, 47 is here. So the transpose of the matrix has been printed properly. Thanks for watching.